This is How To Ebony, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to bubble. First of all, there are three types of bubbles. There are eight hour bubbles, 24 hour bubbles, three day bubbles, and seven day bubbles. But today we're gonna to go over all of them and how effective they all are. Only use eight hour bubbles in active PVP scenarios like here, where I'm simply just attacking a random city and the only reason I use eight hours is because they are abundant. And so then you also don't waste your 24 hours or waste gems on a three day. Or bubbles can be effective for active PVP players. So those players who actively are searching for drop bubbles and hives or participate in rallies and players. Here you can see me just porting to a random hive where I saw a bubble drop, um, obviously a stage scenario. Um, but after this, I put on an eight hour bubble quickly. And just remember after an eight hour bubble to instantly renew to 24 hour bubble. Bubble or you'll get trouble. The most effective way that I found a bubble is to use the gems you get from cracking eggs. So each egg contains different things. As you can see, the three egg contains 200 gems. The 6A contains 100 stamina and 30 refined stones as well as some magic chests. The 12A contains the prize and the money, the 1K gems. That's what we want. And then the 8A contains some gold and an arrest warrant. So what you want to do is start with the 12A. You want to start at the 12, go down to the stamina, which is the 6 egg. And as you can see, I fully cracked that. And then I want to go to the 8A. Now, the reason I go to do it at 12 to six is because I prioritize stamina over the gold and now I don't have any hammers. So the most effective way to get hammers is to start attacking monsters. Your goal during the weekly event is to crack all of the eggs. So you need 58 eggs in total. So you have a minimum of cracking each egg once. So 28 eggs for the first crack and then a minimum of 58 or 29 eggs, my bad. And then you need a total of 58 total minimum. So all you need to do is start attacking the monsters collectively around, around your hive. Um, you don't even need to port around or anything. I usually just attack whatever's around me. And as you can see, I'm only using 100K archers, 100K ground. I don't even, you can use a 60K cav for level one through 25, will basically kill anything for you. So after about 30 minutes, I got around 40 eggs in total. So started cracking and we were able to obtain the 2K gems, which is what our goal is for each day. Now this allows us to bubble no matter what, for a minimum of three days per day. As you can see, I got the 1K and the 2K for a total of 3K. That's what we want to do every single day. Another way to obtain the gems during the weekly event is by collecting the daily login rewards. You get candy, you get gold, you get speed ups, a lot of good stuff. And usually during the event, I save them all towards the end and then I combine all the candy to get witch bags. And in each witch bag, you get special stuff. So I'm gonna combine all of my candy and collect the witch bags. I wanna get the higher the witch bags. So I wanna get level three and level two and also level four. Level four gives you a 24 hour bubble. Let's see how much I get. All right, total is 77. So let's combine them. So we got 48 level two witch bags. Let's combine those. We have a chance of getting 500 chips and five reunified soaps or the level three witch bag, which contains additional gems. We're gonna be using those chips for future ways to get gems as well. There we go. We got 11, 500 chip sets, 17 level three wish bags. 
And we want to get the gems out of these. That's the goal in order for us to bubble. Combine them and there we go. We got 2,500 gems, which is just enough for one bubble. And we also got a level four witch bag. Perfect. So let's see if we can get a bubble out of that. You can also get a level five witch bag, but no one ever gets those. So, you know, it's Ebony. And perfect. Now we got the witch bags out of the way. We're going to spin the wheel using our wheel chips that we collected throughout the week. It's Sunday today, so that's usually the day I spin the wheel. I think I got a total of like 64K. I'm going to speed this portion up for you guys, so you won't have to see it. And we'll see how many gems we get at the end of it. So not the greatest return off that. I think we just got over 2,200. So again, not the most effective way, but just another way for you guys to get gems. It's from the Wheel of Fortune. If you're strapped for gems, you can also check out the Alliance shop. You need 125K honor or 100,000 Alliance points. I obviously don't have enough, but we're going to donate to get some of that Alliance points back. And you can donate every four hours, so I recommend doing that to help out your alliance and also get more alliance points. Alliance points and honor can also be attained from boss monsters and common monsters. You can get a good amount from the boss monsters, so keep an eye on that. Most of your bulk of alliance points and honor will come from monarch competitions. Clearly, I've been busy this weekend, so I wasn't able to participate in the SVS or the monarch competition. So I wasn't able to obtain the place one, but to be honest, I wouldn't get it anyways. Completing all your daily activity can also get you a small amount of gems. For my keep level, I get 400 gems and also some additional speed ups and refined stones. So it's always a good way to get that. And you can also get the key of conscription, which can get you the great general chest. That's a new thing. Um, I know some lower levels don't have that, but make sure to complete all your daily activity to get the gems. The best overall bubble is a three day bubble. There's also a seven day bubble, but please don't spend 50,000 gems on this. It's ridiculous. The 2,500 for the three day bubble is just enough for you to be able to gather lots of resources, farm all the bosses you want, collect all the hammers, crack all your eggs, and just a reminder, the eggs are only obtainable during the event time. While you gather, you are able to also get hammers from your gathering, but it's also a little bit slower. Actually, it's a lot slower. It will take me about an hour to gather this level eight uh, tile. So it doesn't cost any stamina, but also takes the most time. You'll have to be the judge of your own, own character and how you play. But anyways, this is How To Ebony, and this is how you bubble. Stay safe, stay bubbled, or you'll get trouble. Peace out.